Hey everyone, Kelsey here and welcome back to Gal. Today I'm super excited to share with you an After Effects expression that will auto create split screens to create a number of different split screens, as many as you want automatically in After Effects. So this expression is free and it was created by my friend and colleague, Jamie Dickinson. He's a great colorist and filmmaker and he posted this expression on his blog and I reached out to him to see if I could make a tutorial on how to use it. Essentially, you just apply the expression to the position and the scale of one video and then it'll duplicate itself and I'll show you how to do this in the tutorial and you can create a split screen. So thank you so much to Jamie for creating this expression. And now before we jump into the tutorial, here's a little bit about today's sponsor, Appeals. So Appeals creates really cool, unique fabric decals that you can put on almost any surface, such as phones, tablets, skateboards, and what's really cool is you can remove it and reuse it and put it on something else. And their tagline is stick it, remove it, reuse it. So it makes sense. So you can browse their art gallery from different creators to create your own decals that you can put on a phone or a water bottle, or you can create your own artwork and you can create your own stickers such as I did and you can make any custom order that you want using their custom artboard. So you can make a bunch of custom artworks for your phone, tablets, for water bottles, for your own brand, or as gifts for other people. These are perfect stocking stuffers for the holidays. So definitely take advantage of their custom artboard that you can use to create your own custom decals. And better yet, right now you can get 20% off with the code GETGIFTS. Just enter that at checkout. And right now it's just shipping to the US, but right now they're working on getting it out internationally. So stay tuned for that. So thank you so much Appeals for sponsoring and now let's jump into the tutorial. First, let's start by creating a 1920 by 1080 composition. Then let's drag your first video into the composition. I'm going to select it and press enter to rename it to video one. And notice how this is a 4K video and it's bigger inside of this HD comp, but don't worry about resizing it now because when we apply the expression, it will auto resize it to the HD frame. So now with the video when selected, press P to bring up the position controls and then hold the Alt key or the Option key if you're on a Mac and click on the stopwatch next to position. This will activate expressions. Next, go to the position expression, which is in my description box below, and copy it. And then in the field here, just paste the full expression. And now let's do the same thing for the scale expression. Press S to bring up the scale of this video layer, then hold Alt and click on the stopwatch again. Now go to copy the scale expression and paste it into the field here. So now video one is fully auto scaled into frame. And now if we hit command D on a Mac or control D on a PC and duplicate it and continue to press these keys to duplicate it over and over, you'll see that it will auto create these four different screens. You'll see that it's just duplicating this one video layer and that's okay because we can replace them, which I will show you in just a moment. But the idea here is that you can continue to duplicate it and it will automatically resize the duplications until you get to nine, then to 16, and then to 25 screens and beyond. And you can make as many as you like, but remember that the way that this expression works, it will not create a split screen version for every number of screens that you like. And that's one benefit of the Premiere Pro split screen template that I created manually, is that I could create a, a custom number of screens. But for this one, it will only auto size it based on the values of four, nine, and 16, 25, and beyond. So let's go back to nine screens here, and now I'm gonna show you how to replace the video. Simply select the video layer you want to replace from the composition, then go to the project panel and select the video you want to replace with, and hold the Alt key or the Option key and drag it into the composition, and it will replace the video. And you can repeat the process as many times as you like until your split screen template is complete. And the audio, of course, will carry over if there's any audio associated with the video. 
If you prefer to edit the audio and synchronize it in Premiere Pro from here, you can go up to File and export it for Premiere Pro. And then all of the videos will appear as their own layers inside of Premiere Pro for you to then edit. Now you might ask, what about the square or the vertical compositions? Well, the way this works is that the expression will change the footage to be the same as the aspect ratio of the frame. So if you put 16 by nine footage in a square composition and then apply the expression, the footage will get squished. And this is why you need to already have the footage in a square aspect ratio when putting it into a square composition. So the footage must match the same aspect ratio as the composition aspect ratio for it to work. And if anyone watching knows a way to tweak the expression so it will work with any type of footage in the sequence, then please do share the trick by leaving a comment below. But for now, my recommendation is to crop the footage and export it for the aspect ratio you want. So here you can see I have four videos that are square. And just like before, I'm just going to drag the first one in and then I'm going to copy and paste the expression to both the position and the scale. And then I'm going to duplicate this layer four times and then from the project panel, I'm gonna press Alt or Option on a Mac and drag it into the other footage to replace it. And that's all there is to using this expression. So if this video tutorial helped you out, be sure to give this a giant thumbs up. If it reaches 5,000 likes, then I know for sure you want more After Effects tutorials and expression related content on the channel. And so I think that this expression is really gonna help you guys out. It's definitely not perfect, but it will definitely speed up your workflow if you're trying to do custom grids, especially for your musical remote collaborations that you're doing right now. And if you have any questions at all, just be sure to leave a comment below and I'll take a look. And this brings me to this week's comment of the week. Mike Thornhill wrote, has anybody ever figured out how to get audio out of this? All audio tracks are enabled. Audio plays fine in the individual replay sequences, but nothing on the main sequence. Now this comment was left on my video on my split screen template for Premiere Pro. It's a kit that has a bunch of different split screens in it where you can just replace the footage by dragging and dropping it in. Now one thing to bear in mind is when you drag and drop a clip that has video and audio, you need to make sure that audio layer one is turned on, the source patching is on, so the audio carries over. Now what Mike was saying was that when he dragged the footage in into all of the replace sequences, when he got to the main sequence, there was no audio. Now this unfortunately is something that I cannot change in Premiere Pro. It's one downside to making a Premiere Pro template is that just the audio carried over because in my placeholders, there's no audio placeholders. So what you can do after you drag and drop the footages in its place, you can copy the audio on audio layer one from the first placeholder and then paste it into the main sequence. And you can then turn off the audio layer one on the main sequence and paste a second layer and so on. So that's the kind of workaround is just copy and pasting it. It'll take a little bit more time, but not that much time. So hopefully that answers your question and clears up some of the issues around using that template. And I hope to do an updated version very soon. So if you guys need any more assistance at all, I encourage you to join my Patreon community, patreon.com slash premiergal. You can get some direct message support or some free templates from my store in that community. So that's it for this video. And I look forward to seeing you next time in the next YouTube video. Bye. This free new After Effects, I cannot say After Effects. Say it a few times right now. After Effects. After Effects. After Effects. After effects. <laughs> <laughs> Am I overexposed? But the Brady fine. Peace.